What's up friends? Welcome to another video. I don't really know what this video is going to be. Definitely some sort of vlog. Might be in a couple of days, but it is Friday, May 15th, halfway through May, and I am about to do an EMOM workout in the backyard, and I'm a little scared. I've done an EMOM once in my life, I think. So uh, yeah, we're going to see how this goes, but basically I just want to get out of the bodybuilder box because it's all that I've been doing for years and I love it, but I know that I need to push myself to do other forms of training and I really want to move more toward functional training. So instead of driving 40 minutes each way to the gym today or to the gym and then back, I am staying home and doing this EMOM. And like I said, we're gonna see how this goes and I'll talk more about this afterwards, but I just wanted to intro the video. And by the way, this top is from Rider Wear. I'm trying to get better about sharing my Rider Wear orders, but this is from the Naked Collection. This is the top that I have in black and then also in like a mauve, like dusty pink color. So then I got this little periwinkle color. And yeah, that's the vibe for now. So I already have this EMOM picked out. I looked at, Tay Che's Instagram and picked one and here, why am I like, why, 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 why? I don't know, usually I'm like, hello? hello? Anyways, we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> Listen, there's a reason that EMOMs can only be 35 minutes long because you get to a point where you would have no rest. You would literally die. I'm humbled, but I'm also proud of myself for doing it. There is like the first half of it's like it builds up and it gets really hard. And then there's a couple minutes where you have like arm exercises that weren't that bad so you got to rest a little bit but obviously you don't rest between circuits so like over time your heart rate just gets higher and higher and stays there and we all know how whoa, my heart rate operates so I'm proud of myself and I'm happy I did it but there were a couple times I really sucked which means I get to keep making myself better and I get to keep doing it so uh for some reason, I thought my camera turned off, but I'm clearly just hallucinating. So, okay, let me end. The first, like, uh, cycle and a half, so the first, like, nine minutes, my fucking watch was on outdoor walk. It was like, you've burned, like, 12 calories, and I was like, bitch. <laughs> so I stopped my watch and restarted it for open goal, which is what I usually do, and that's, like, usually the top one top of the list on the activity tracker. So anyways, this only got 31 minutes and some of that was me resting afterwards until just now when I paused it and I burned 321 calories. So I would say, knowing me, I easily burned probably somewhere around 400 calories, which again, you know, fuck, you know, I'm not in the mindset of like, oh, how many calories can I burn? Cause that's like not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to be a healthy person. I want to do more functional training. But um, that's pretty good if you are someone who wants to use a circuit workout and burn a lot of calories really quickly because that's literally only 35 minutes. So uh, <laughs> at the end, I was like looking like that kid in the corner who's just leaning against the wall and you don't know if they're okay because they might throw up. That's how I felt. I didn't throw up, but it was dicey. So I'll update you more after I recover. <laughs> Yo, okay, so clearly we are upstairs. We are in the house. We are in the air conditioning. We're also thirsty. So, just had my post-workout shake. We're a little bit more recovered now. And I wanted to chat with you. So, 
I want to vlog more. I'm feeling more inspired to pick up the camera now that some shifts are happening in the world and in my life. But at this point in time, the last video that I filmed, the full day of eating, which hopefully you've watched by now, uh, the footage will not even import to my computer because the disc is always motherfucking full. Don't ask me if I've deleted shit. I've deleted it. I've deleted more of it and I've deleted even more of it. Ask me if I've backed up the shit. I've backed up the shit and then deleted the shit. And then I've emptied the shit. And then I've emptied the empty shit. And then I've emptied another shit. I promise you, I have tried everything. And the motherfucking disc is always full. So what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna figure this out eventually. And if I figure it out shortly, you will have a steady flow of videos per usual. If it takes me a bit, you're gonna get like seven videos in seven days when I can finally figure it out. But I'm gonna keep filming because we got things to talk about. So anyway, I just gave this talk on my Instagram story. So if you watched it on this day, this might be a little bit redundante. Redundante. Um, but basically, bottom line is, I just wanna be an overall healthy human, okay? I do not desire to go through extreme bulking and cutting phases anymore. Yes, they serve their purpose, especially if you wanna compete in the sport of bodybuilding. However, I have been through bulks and cuts for like three, four years now, and it really takes a toll on your body because your body doesn't like extremes either way, right? And you guys know, I think I mentioned in my last video or before the full day of eating video, that since three years ago, literally this month, okay, because this is how I remember it. I was studying abroad in China three years ago, right now, you know, before the Rona happened, clearly. And in China, I had like my last period, which was just an, an awful mess, okay? That day was just, I was wearing white shorts, we were going on a boat, I was not prepared, I was in China, okay, China, and I was not ready. So I just, I remember that day and I was like, fuck. But then I came back to the States, started prep that summer, my first prep, so it was the summer of 2017. Since then, I have had two periods that were consecutive, and that was October of 2018 and November of 2018. So a year after I competed for the first time, and now here we are. So in a matter of three years, I've had two periods. That's not okay. And my body clearly did not like everything that I've been doing to it. And now we're getting somewhere. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We've, we're working on restoring our hormones, okay? Our skin has cleared up, we've gained weight, we're healthy. Body composition is, I can objectively say, in a good spot. I'm not storing fat in abnormal, you know, patterns for a female. And I'm very, very pleased with that. Like, fuck yeah, body, like, psh, good job. You know, she's carried us through a lot, we've put her through a lot. And by the way, I did get cupping done. That's why, if you see anything crazy, I also have it on my arm too here. Um, that's, that's what that's from. I didn't get my ass beat, don't worry. <laughs> but um, clearly my body has not liked what I've done. And now we're getting somewhere. We're feeling good. Our, like I said, our skin's clearing up. And I know, I know I'm close to getting lay cycle back. So I just want to be an overall healthy human. I don't want to be like feeling heavy and lethargic and winded because I'm carrying around a ton of extra body fat because I'm bulking and I don't want to go to the extremes of a cut. Like, will I diet again someday? I don't know. Maybe. Will I compete again someday? I don't know. Maybe. But if I do, it's going to be a couple years. And I truly, truly know that right now my why is get, regaining my cycle, you know, fixing my hormones and just becoming or like just being a more balanced, healthy human. I wanna feel like light on my feet. I wanna feel functional. I wanna do functional training, okay? I still love bodybuilding and I'm definitely gonna keep lifting. I want to gain muscle, but I'm just, I'm not gonna do it aggressively. I'm just not because my soul is telling me finally that, you know, it's just not in alignment for my goals right now. So, you know, it'd be different if I was like, oh, I'm starting prep early next year. Then like, yeah, duh, I'd be like, hardcore bulking right now because you want to make the most of your time but now I'm like dude I have forever to be fit and Alicia if you're watching one of my friends Alicia made an IGTV about how she transitioned from like competitor lifestyle bodybuilding to intuitive eating and like lifting and everything even being like an intuitive trainer right like I want to wake up and be like huh you know I think I'm just gonna go play beach volleyball today and, and not go to the gym and I, I want to truly be okay with that 
I think I mentioned that in my last video. I don't know. But she, Alicia made a video talking about when she shifted her mindset from like, I have six months to bulk and six months to cut, like that kind of thing, like shifting away from a timeline more toward, dude, I have my whole life to be fit. And like, I can still make progress without being so controlling of everything, right? And I know, cause I have seen this happen with people time and time again, that first of all, body composition is gonna be fine. That's our fear, right? That we're all gonna get fat. Body composition is gonna be fine. And honestly, I'll probably have some body recomp, especially if I keep doing these EMOMs that require me to be lighter on my feet. My body's not going to want to hold on to as much body fat, but like, I'm not even focused on that. Like genuinely, I, I was like the last couple months or so. I told myself on a walk the other day, if you watched my last video, I might've already said all this shit, but I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just letting, you know, I told myself on a walk the other day, I was like, fuck it, this is it. Like I will continue this through May and through June and in July, I'm starting a cut. And even objectively in my head, I was like, okay, Melissa, like you tell yourself that if that's how you need to get through today, because I need to remember my why. And I've just like fully, fully embraced it in the last week because I stopped tracking macros a week ago today. And it feels so fucking good. It feels so fucking good. I don't wake up super stuffed feeling like shit. I'm just eating like I'm literally eating whatever I want and I'm not food focused because I don't have cravings that cause me to binge because I'm not restricting. And I never fully understood what that would feel like until now when I'm living it. Like I understand how it works, right? If you don't restrict yourself, then you don't have the urge to binge because you know you can always have what you want. But yeah, I'm just like actually living it now. And I'm like, dude, I'm a week into this shit. And like, let's fucking go. This life is so great. You can probably tell by my energy right now. Um, and I'm just really, really happy about it. So I would love for the world to open up so I could do some Pilates, do some F45. Like, I just want to switch things up and like genuinely be okay with like not training you know, chest on Tuesday and not training shoulders twice a week and one day is heavy and one day, like I know how to get results a certain way, but that's not the only way. And I want to prove to myself that there are other ways. And the only way to do that is to make myself do shit. So earlier this week, I made the decision that I'm going to, that I'm going to do an EMOM today and I'm not going to allow myself to drive to the gym. And so I, I do a pretty good job at holding myself accountable, but if I really need to, I'll ask Lexi. I'll be like, listen, here's what I'm doing. Make sure I do it. And she like is great. So even if you have somebody in your life who can hold you accountable, I would recommend doing that, but just make yourself do the shit because I like one of my biggest pet peeves is when people say they're going to do something and then they don't do it. I'm like, I hate you. I hate you. You lied to me. I believed you. And that's why I have a general distrust of people. Um, but that's just a personal development opportunity for improvement. I've gotten a lot better at that, but it all comes down to communication too. And anyways, all that is to say, like, I get so tired of my own shit of me being like, someday I'd really love to get into functional training. Like someday I'm going to intuitive eat. And like, I'm like, bitch, do it now. It is, it is a choice. You can do that right now. So I do it. And that's just kind of where I'm at currently. So I think I said everything I wanted to say for this little chunk uh, of clippage, but yeah, I just want to say thank you for being so supportive. Cause so many of you have been like, yo, you're doing the right thing. Like, this is so awesome. And like, you're just happy for me. And I'm sure my happiness translates to the screen. And I think I told you, I know I told you in the last video, I wasn't consciously stressed out by all this shit, but it's all I've known for so long. And I think I was subconsciously stressed by it. So now that I'm making myself like break the chains, so to speak, I just feel so much better. And I didn't even know I could feel this much better. It's fucking lit. So if you feel like you're a prisoner to macros or a certain style of training, I encourage you to challenge yourself and make yourself do something different. And I don't mean on top of your five bodybuilding gym training days a week. No, like I mean, take out a day rearrange your shit, still take your two rest days, take an extra rest day, um, take an intuitive meal, take an intuitive day, take an intuitive week. Like obviously if you're working with a coach or you're one of my clients, <laughs> you're probably using macros. You're definitely using macros with me. And you know, those do serve a purpose for a physique goal. Just for me personally, where I'm at right now, I've been doing that shit for five years and um, yeah, I have physique goals. I definitely want to put more muscle on my legs my upper body, I'm like pretty cool with. I would love some more delts. I, you know, who doesn't want more delts? But 
that's gonna be my focus. So I'm definitely gonna go to the gym to train legs heavy and add some muscle there. But again, I'm just, I'm not gonna do it aggressively. Like look at people on Instagram who you follow who don't track macros and they're just living their best and they look banging. Like look at Heidi, Heidi Summers, Buff Bunny. She looks so good and she's not like crazy about training or tracking macros. Same thing with Tay Shay. She transitioned from bodybuilding into her lifestyle now, which is intuitive eating, living her freaking best and look at her. She looks so good. Like that is the direction that I want to go to. And yesterday I posted a leg workout and so many people commented like that I looked good, which I don't want to say that I like base my worth on my physical appearance, but I'm a, I'm a fitness person, right? I want to look good. So it's so awesome to get that feedback, especially after like coming out of a prep and reversing and like accepting weight gain. Um, I'm just like in such a better place now. It just gets better and better, man. Cause we all know the first couple weeks post or couple months post show, like the holidays. Oh my God. Those were in the shitter for me. I was losing my mind when I was at home in Kansas. That was a rough, rough, rough time. And my last thought here, you know what I was thinking the other day is let's say I qualified in November and I went to Miami nationals and didn't win my pro card. I'd be like, Oh shit, I'm going to do the national shows this year, 2020. And I would have been in prep continuously. So I would have been prepping from like April, probably had a short break over the holidays, started again in January. And then all this quarantine shit would have happened. All the national shows have been pushed back and I would have been prepping for like almost two fucking years. And we all know how fucked up my body was already. Okay, so I'm just happy to be where I am. Thank you, universe. I knew, I knew you had my back. I just had to be a little upset for a bit. And yeah, like I said, if I compete again, it'll be in a couple of years, but I don't have to make that decision right now. So I'm gonna I'm live my best. I'm gonna eat what I want. And it feels so fucking good. So like I said, I know this clip is super long, but I know my OGs are, you're here rocking with me. And I do want to vlog more. I just, I get so busy during the week. I'm bad at picking up the camera, but Things are really good. Alignment is growing. I'm growing in so many ways. And yeah, we just got lots of good energy. So that's where I'm at. And I don't know what's going to be next. I think our friend Kendall is going to come over tonight. Fears to fit on Instagram. I'm sure you follow her. She's a freaking gem. She's going to come over. I know Lexi gets poke tonight, which means <laughs> I'm getting poke tonight. So that will be the plan for tonight. I might have a glass of wine. I don't know. Right now I got a little bit of work to do. I got to write some new training splits because girlies gyms are opening up. I'm so excited for everyone. And if your gym is not opened up yet, your time is coming. I'm sending you all the open gym vibes and just keep doing what you're doing as much resistance training as you can, or just some kind of movement during this quarantine. I promise you when you get back in the gym, you're going to be hitting PRs guaranteed. So I'm going to end this clip now and I'm not going to say sorry for being myself. So I will see you here in a bit. And yeah, I think I mentioned this earlier that this is from Rider Wear. A lot of people have been asking me about my clothing lately and I keep forgetting to say it. And so I just want to make sure that I, I say it. Oh, also, you know what else? I think I had this in my little, um, I don't know, some video the other day. Got this matcha. I made a matcha latte yesterday for the first time and I'm fucking obsessed. I'm going to make a matcha drink of some sort every single day because it's so good. It's like, I love green tea, like the legit green tea that you get at sushi places, not the bullshit in a can, like watered down. And yo, this is, this is dank. Okay. I'll tell you right now, they were nice enough to give me a code. So if you want to swoop it up, the brand is Ito Matcha, I-T-O Matcha on Instagram. And code Melissa will save you 10%. So yeah, I'll show you how I make this here in a bit. Hello! I'm bored in the house and it's <laughs> oh, uh, so I told them that at Fears to Fit was coming over, so oh, I'm hashtag sure. blessed. I freaking miss my friends. I hope you guys are drinking a little quarantini right now. <laughs> quarantini? <laughs> we got Lex working hard over there too, so um we're gonna get poke. Yes! Lex poke gets poke. Round two. Wilson. I'm very excited. Yeah. Very excited. So we'll probably show you that next, but had to show you that we had a friend. <laughs> we have friends. What? Um, so I just realized that I forgot to show you my poke and it is 5,000% gone. <laughs> so my bad, but if you're curious, my go-to poke order is a medium bowl, which is three scoops of protein 
and I get half white rice, half salad. I get no avocado because you know how I feel about avocados. I want to love them and I don't dislike them. I just, not my thing, not my thing. Maybe I'll force myself to eat avocado toast and like learn to love it. I don't freaking know. I don't know how I'm allowed to live in California and not like avocados, but <clears throat> we'll keep that on the down low. So anyways, I get seaweed salad. I get cucumbers, onion, edamame. My proteins, I always do spicy tuna, tuna, and salmon. And then I think that's it. I just get ponzu sauce. And, oh, and imitation crab meat. So that's everything that I get there. But the reason I ate it so fast is because... I don't know what's going on, but I think maybe I waited too long to eat. Like you ever wait too long to eat and your stomach just starts hurting really freaking bad? That happened, but I also had some of these little bean crisp things, so maybe those upset my stomach. But also I'm like, I don't wanna say anything because I don't wanna jinx it, but I'm kind of hoping that it's like cramps. I don't know, I don't know. We, we shall see, time will tell. But I wanted to eat so I could hopefully feel a little bit better. And I do feel a little bit better, but I might take the greens, might take some Opti greens to help assist out right now. But the 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 that's gonna be all for today. Um, but I'm gonna roll this video into the weekend. I know I talked a decent amount, so it's probably already really long. But this is what vlogging is. So see you tomorrow. Oh, and and because <clears throat> I know I'm gonna get questions. This little hoodie is from Fabletics. I fucking love Fabletics. Listen, the link in the description box is the link to sign up, and you'll get two leggings for twenty four dollars, like total, when you become a VIP member. So Fabletics operates on a subscription based. Uh, model so you'll get an outfit every single month and yo I get so hyped to order my outfits and then of course to share them with you So if you use that link, it does support me and I super super appreciate that like I do with all my links. So Yes, there's that Now I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is the next day I'm going to train legs here in a bit, but my breakfast looks too good not to show you So I just had to show you this real quick BAM Look at all that goodness. I used my pumpkin pancake mix from Trader Joe's and just put some egg whites in there and then egg whites on the side. So I did not use protein powder for this. And then I cut up a nanner, put some chocolate chips and some almond butter. So bam, that's our fuel for today. And one of my goals for today is to figure out my freaking computer so I can start uploading these vlogs so you can actually have them in real time. So if you're watching this, obviously I figured it out, but in my time, just Cross your fingers. Okay, back from leg day and yo, the gym was so busy, but I did work, did what I needed to do. And pro tip, if you're ever in a super busy gym and you're like legit unable to go to different machines because there's so many people, just get on a leg press or get some dumbbells or an easy bar and do like multiple movements with that piece of equipment. So what I did is on the leg press, I did um, where I put my feet high and wide with toes pointed out to really hit your glutes and hamstrings because pro tip, if you push through your heel, you're going to be hitting more of your glutes and hamstrings. And if you push through your toe, you're gonna to be hitting more of your quads. So you can play around with different foot positionings to hit different leg muscles. So I did feet high and wide leg press, then I did single leg, like kind of like split squats, but just on the leg press. And then I did narrow stance to really hit my quads. So I also did a couple of other movements before and after that, but I did most of my workout on one leg press and I was like, I'm gonna monopolize this leg press. I'm not sorry, people. <laughs> but anyways, it was a really good leg workout. I was already a little sore from that EMOM yesterday, but I realized that I never made a matcha, matcha drink slash latte yesterday because Kendall came over and I was like, oh, forgot my matcha. But anyways, I wanted to show you today and then I'll wrap up this video because I already know it's long after my chat yesterday. But basically, here's what you do. First, you get your Ito matcha. And I think I mentioned this yesterday, but they did give me a code. So if you use Melissa, it will save you. But they have instructions here on the back. So last time I made a latte, I made it with almond milk. Today, I think I'm just gonna make like um, an iced matcha with just like water. So the first thing that you do is put a serving of matcha in the cup. 
So I just kind of guess. I just take like a spoonful and put it in there. I don't really know. The serving size is two grams, but I'm not weighing the shit out. Um, so you do that and then you put hot water in there, just enough to cover it. So this is what it looks like now. And then I am going to take this guy and whisk it until the matcha dissolves. So here's what we are working with. And if you wanted to make it a hot drink, uh, like just hot tea, you would just put more hot water in it. But what I'm gonna do is make it iced. So I'm gonna come over here, get some ice. And then I'm just gonna add some cold water from the fridge. And I'm gonna get my little straw and I'm gonna stir this bad boy up. And there he is. You could put stevia in it if you want, but matcha, in my opinion, doesn't need stevia. <laughs> I, I do like sweet drinks, but I feel like matcha is just good on its own. Ah, yes. Much matcha. I might be making it really strong. The serving size might be less than I put in there, but like I said, I, I just put it in there. I don't know. But I'm going to wrap up this video now. So in, in my time, I'm actually about to go sit down at the computer and try to figure it out. So there's that. But as always, if you watched until now, I am taking all my good vibes. I'm sending them your way. If you could give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell before you leave, that would be dope. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Oh.